Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some K2 Digital Edition for the turn-based Thursday Fest. I have played this game a little bit before on the channel. I'll put links to those videos in the description below. And this time, I'm going to try to see how I can do if I face some AI uh, and don't just kind of play against the mountain and with my own team and see if I can make it to the top, but see how we do. So I'm going to go ahead and do this single trip mountain of mountains and confirm. And we will pick our own folks. Now they've given us Mike and Monique. I've used them before, but why don't we go with uh, John looks good. And then, uh, you know, I feel like uh, Hannah maybe can lead us to victory. Okay, and this is us, Incompetent Climbing, and we're going to try our very best to add some UI. And we're going to fight against Carlos and Nikki. Now, at medium difficulty, I have no doubt that they'll destroy us, but what will happen is we'll probably learn more strategy by playing against just a normal middle-of-the-road pair. So let's go. All right, here's that mountain. It starts easy. Okay. So, select three cards, shall we? Uh, we don't need to recuperate right now. We want to move and move fast. Now, these joints only require one, this is two, and this would be three to move this far. So, with four, I could actually move, you know, um, up here, I guess, if I just took a two and a one, and then uh, I could take one of these smaller, you know, recoup cards if I wanted. I think I will. Uh, the planning phase is played simultaneously. All players select their cards at the same time. The climbing phase is played in order. The first player has changed every turn. Previously, first became the last one. Right, to keep it fair. Okay, got it. All right, so uh, I've picked one. We don't know what they picked. Those United Climbers, they're scary. Uh, okay, then we'll go to this one. And then I'm going to go for that. And then we'll, I'll confirm the end. Now end it. Alright. So I could use a health card or I can move a climber. Now I guess I should have taken more movement because I, I need to move both climbers. But what I'll do is... I'm going to just gradually do this. So I'm going to go ahead and move um, John. Here. And then... I'm going to move... Uh, Hannah here, and then I'll go ahead and use that health and end the day. Okay, interesting. So this is a, um, I can go up one or I can go down three. And this is really something that I need to think more about as I'm playing, which is just, when do I actually want to come back down? Like, when is that going to be useful for me? Not right now, really. But maybe if I'm, you know, up a level of the mountain into a different tier and I need a break and I need to cut back down or there's weather or something like that. So I'll try to save those for later. So we're going to select... Um, just some small movement cards. And this. I don't need any health cards. I'm going to end the phase. Alright. And then I'm going to uh, actually select Hannah. And I will move here. It'll take two to do that. But then if I do this, I do believe 
that it means... Oh, I think they have a... The AI has somebody over there that I can't actually move. Can they share the same square? Yeah, they can. Cool. All right, then good. They can be like that. That's sweet. All right, let's go ahead and end the day. That's a good climb. All right, so there are other climbers way back here, and then they have one up front. But you can see it's going to take two and three total to even get here. So I can't move them both, but I can take a three and then take these like this and end the phase. And then this, uh, let's see. I'm going to have John move to here. And that's pretty good. Now, I could move up again, but the question is, can she... Yeah, she can share a square with them, so I think that's fine. So I'll kind of... I'm going to see what happens if I try to just move both people. All right. Now, he's getting a little bit tired, but not bad, and she's reasonable so uh this is the day tomorrow the two top sections are going to have bad weather but not this section so let's see it would take three or three to move and five total to move up either of these so i think what i have to do um no, no, wait. I was selecting the wrong person. Can How much is it going to take you? Two and four. Okay. And this is one. I can move two. I can move one. And then I'm going to restore health with my dude here. So I'm going to take these. So I'm going to just go ahead and move John first up here. And then I'm going to select Hannah. And I'll move here and it looks like we have four victory points for our progress so far and then I'm going to go back to John and I'm going to um, get some O2 to bring that back up to a four and we'll end the day or just recover now we can pitch tents we have what um, one Select three cards from the last six. The deck will be shuffled in two rounds. Okay. We actually got some really good movement cards here. And because our health is still pretty solid, I'm just going to take all three of these. And choose weakness points. All right. So we had to take uh, some weakness And it's only on that one card, though, right? Or is it on all of them? Anyway, um, we can move here for two. How much will it take you to move here? Two. What if you want to go up here? Three. She can do that. Um, the red circle is not great. But I kind of feel like... Do I want to do that? I have four. I want to keep them on the same side and not go over this way. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to be able to pitch a tent and have them both use it. I think it works that way. So if you go here. Oh, he used the three card, though, to do that. I think that's okay, though. Okay. And... End of day. Select the last three cards. We don't really... need any of these, but we'll take them. 
wow, and they're way ahead of us. Um, that was uh, unfortunate. Um, I should have planned better, but this is okay, I guess. Um, so she's really doing well. Actually, it's okay. We can just rest right here. And then I'll spread it around. So they're both 7 out of 6. End of day. And we'll, we dropped down to 6, but now um, we're really, really well recovered. They have a few more points than us, but um, this is going to take us 1 and 3 to get here. Two to go here. Um, no, I'm going to have to do it like this. So, John, we're actually going to have you... I'll go up this side. This is fine. We're going to go up this way. And we'll lose a little bit because of the conditions. It's going to be terrible conditions tomorrow. So, it might be a day where we, like, just pitch a tent. But maybe we can push through... Uh, you could see they're at six and four. They're actually pretty comparable to what we're at condition wise. All right. So then um, I'm going to move Hannah here. Hmm. Okay. So we get four points if we get Hannah here, I think. Um, and that takes two move. It's going to be good weather for the next four days. So what if we try to group here? And then just kind of recover a little bit. So I'm going to move her here. We do get the points, so we're kind of at eight. And then you can see how much we're going to take. Um... Oh, you need two move to pitch the tent. I uh, mis mis remembered how to do that, so we'll just use the conditioning instead. So we take a hit, but they're at two and two, and we're at three and four, and now it's clean weather. So this is a two. This is a five. So with a three and a two, I can move all the way up, but then. Um, I don't have any more movement for my other person. So I think I might have to push John all the way up and then recover with him and leave her here for now. That's a shame. All right, we're in very, very bad shape. Um, I think we don't die, but I might have done that wrong. Yeah, we're at one. So that's very scary, but I can um, use three movement points to rest, which I think I have to do. So we take this with John. We'll pitch a tent, and then we will... She's got plenty to just go ahead and do this. Uh-oh. I should have taken it. Yeah, yeah, I got to end the turn with her. Okay, John, you need to um, pitch a tent. Mm. I don't think that's going to even help. I think she that he's gone. I think I miscalculated that. He's dead. We lost a man. He was in the tent when he died. So Hannah's going to have to finish the job. All right. So she's got a big recover here. And then she can move three. I right, said, so first of all, just do this. And then go here. And we have a tent. I thought. 
Maybe I didn't. Yeah, we do. But I don't know if that means he's using it or it just means we restore one here so we don't lose as much. Right, she's still alive. The United Climbers are indeed united. Moving two doesn't do it. Uh, so we'll take zero weakness. We've been taking one every time, basically. We're not going down. We'll skip. Alright, I need to make a surge. I need three movement. I have it. One, two, and this. Let's go. Alright. Oh, the weakness. Oh, dear. Alright, we're gonna breathe. And we'll take two. It won't kill us. But it's close. Okay. Three movement can pitch a ten. Three movement also gets to the top. But I think I have to restore two. Right here, or I don't make it. I'm going to make it to the top, and I'm going to die. I think, you see how they're down here? I know that they summited. I think they, uh... Like, where's their other person? Way down below or something? Yeah. I think I went too fast. I think I was, like, way too aggressive. Minus two. We're dead in the water, but we're going to get to the top. You better believe it. We pitch a tent at the top. It doesn't save us. We still die. But we go out in style. We die on the top. Ow. Let's try it again. What if I go a little slower? All right. So, I'm still going to just concentrate on moving as far as we can early on. Now, I'll take weakness points early so maybe I don't have them later. Alright. So, at this point... You can... It looks like you could maybe camp out on these squares to build up. So, I'm gonna have John go here. And then use this and then he'll get some O2 down here and then we'll move her over here end of day so we go up to three and from this point I don't think we want to pitch a tent we want to move up it takes three to move there okay so three movement will get me there but staying here has all the benefits of you know breathing getting some O2 So I could take, like, bad cards this turn, and then take good cards next turn, save them up. 
what I'll do is I, th I also need to experiment with that, you know, just like save the two for next turn, right? Um, we'll take a minus one for sure. And save the zeros for later. Okay, so I want... Um, John is okay. I'm going to have him move up here. And go ahead and then restore. And then, you know, we put a minus one. It's on this card. I could do this, but let's just stay here. For her to get here, we need three. So I could take a two, a one, and this zero health. And then we'll just go ahead and bebop over here and end the day. All right. If I take a two and a three, we can charge up fully. We can't move here. I think it's still worth it. End of day. We're both at six. Feeling okay. Okay. So now... Um, we'll take minus one again. It goes on this card. So I'm going to move um, John up here and then end the day. Get rid of the, the weak card. All right. Now, um, you can see the weather is going to move down, but we're okay. And we could think about, do we want to pitch a tent to create a restorative space right here? And I actually think I do. So I'm going to experiment with that. So I'll take a... She needs to um, get two to move there. So two to move there, three for the tent. And then we'll just take a bad card and keep good cards. Um, oof. I'll take minus one. And then... Oh, it only takes two for the first tent. Okay, great. So then I'm going to have her move up. Okay, and we kind of just did that, and then we're going to use a tent and rest up right here, and skip, end of turn. So we're at full. This is a one, and that's a three. So let's go. I'm only going to move up one, though. I'm going to concentrate on that, I think. Keep one just kind of maxing. This takes three. I don't think I can use the oxygen. I think the damage comes after the oxygen. So I'll do this. Oh, never mind. Or no, that's a prediction. Right, right, right. Okay. So then the next tent is two. Oh, maybe it's two in this section, but then up here, the tent costs three. I can get here for five and then breathe. But this actually will take do two damage to me. So maybe what I should do is set the tent here for two. Or for three, rather. And then breathe. So um, choose weakness point. I'm going to need all of it. So I'm going to actually have to take a zero, which I don't like to do. But now I'm going to move John here and we'll recover. And then, oh, the 10 still, I don't know why the one time it cost three. Maybe, oh, oh, maybe that's what the marker is uh, for just that location or that height or whatever. But I'm still going to say that I should have taken minus one. I'm still going to pitch the 10. Okay, so we don't need any breathing. We'll just take all the movement we can get. And 
Um, how many does it take to get here? Three. So if I take minus two, I can only move two, but I can move her. Um, I think. Right? Okay, so we'll take minus two to get rid of it. And, ooh, it kind of got distributed right there. So I think she can actually make it all the way up here. She did. And she is going to, you know, suffer the consequences, but that's okay. We're going to skip and end the day. She could get to the tent and restore. Now, from here, uh, we are having bad weather in this section. So it's actually safer if I can get John up there, but it takes six, and I just don't have the movement. So I'm going to stay in the tent. And I can move her into the tent for, what, two? But we'll take a loss. I'm actually interested to see how this plays, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to move her uh, up here. Oh! It's over-occupied because maybe the tent takes up some space? Okay, that's fine, to be honest. He can't move, can he? In that case, takes three. Alright, that was my miscalculation. Okay. Um, select three cards, and the last three will be shuffled. All right. Well, fine. Well, I did want to test this, so I'm going to have John breathe three, and he goes to eight. And so my question is, does the incoming damage hit the eight, or will it, like, go back to six, and then I suffer the three loss? I'm curious to see how that plays out, and we'll breathe, and we will skip... And we're going to end the turn. No, no, it worked. It worked. You can over, you know, get the health card and withstand it. So now it's good weather day. Tomorrow is bad everywhere. So what we want to do is just climb up as much as we possibly can right here. Um, we have to take minus two. All right, so how far can you go? You can go here for three there for six i have one two three four five no, let's just do this like that and then can you get here you can great painful and then super painful i don't think i can get back down with john but we do have a three restore card so i think what we'll do is uh this is three so we'll take three movement three restore and one restore an end. Now I'm going to put my dude up to here. And we're going to go here. And here. Okay. So. I can get him to the top. For three. And then breathe choose weakness Ugh. that's a shame all right so i used the weakness card so i did suffer a little bit right there but i got him there so now um the weather is okay for a few days so we're just going to push so how much do you need three here here and actually i should save that Unless I get a minus card. Okay, I did not. So... She's going here. She's breathing. My dude's about to die. Tomorrow will be the last day of the expedition. Oh my god. The problem is... Uh, I did not draw any restoration cards. And I need too many to move up. I can drop him down, but there's no safe space. No, I think we both die. I think um, if I use... I can leave her here. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have used my tent. 
I thought I had it in a good position, but um, we just didn't draw any cards to restore our health when we kind of really needed it. She won't die this turn, but he will. I could move him down, but there is... I don't see the purpose in it. All right. Right, and so these are my last three cards, which none of these will provide health. Uh, so the only thing I can really do with her is, you know, try to move her down. And then this should stabilize her. I can breathe, but what does zero do, right? Uh, end of day. And we scored six points. So we didn't lose outright this time, but we lost a man again. So what's interesting about this, um, you could see the AI beat us too. They got 11. And there is still definitely room for improvement. What I have to get so much better at with this game is understanding just the fundamentals of timing, the sequencing. When do I ascend? When do I sandbag? But there is pressure. You don't want to wait too long. You can't just dilly-dally. And how can you best use your tents at, at the right stages to keep people alive? You know, maybe you save one for the summit. It's such a fascinating game, and I really wish that I were better at it, but I enjoy it each time I play it. And I think um, it would be so much fun also, you know, to play this multiplayer so, everyone, I'd love to know what you guys think of K2 Digital Edition. If this is your first time seeing me play it, uh, I do go through the tutorial and learn some more in previous videos and just kind of play solo play. And that was my first time going against the AI and seeing what they were up to and losing horribly. But at least we only had one death this time. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below for this turn-based Thursday Fest extravaganza featuring K2 Digital Edition. I'll put links to the Steam page in the description below if you want to check it out, follow along with the game's development. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Take care.